Hello guys, it's Kirsten. Uh, so I'm editing pictures for no reason uh, from July of 17. So what, three years old? Um, just for fun. So for this one, um, I'm in ACR right now. So she's looking a little green. So I'm just gonna uh, bump up the magenta smidge and warm it up just a little bit. Contrast up, I bring the whites up just a little tiny bit, um, vibrance up a little bit. I usually bring the darks in curves just for skin, makes skin awful pretty. Um, what I usually do first is click these two buttons under the lens so it calibrates. Uh, I was using my 135 at f2 because I like to live on the edge. Lower that a little bit. That's also her. <laughs> okay, so for this one, I don't want to do much because it's just it's just so pretty. Um, I am gonna just kind of put a gradient over here, and because I'm lazy, I'm gonna use the ones I've purchased. You can also just Google, you know, sun, uh, anything like that. Um, just Google images. I'm going to place embedded overlays. I have some from Florabella that I love a whole lot. I think I'm going to do more yellow, more peach, more yellow. No, let's try this one. There's also that one. Let's try this one first. Um, okay, sold. <laughs> I actually like this one a lot. Um, sometimes the center of it is always a little bit meh. So I usually try to get the center out and just use kind of the outer. Okay, but to mimic the sun, let's have it go out here. Okay, that looks good. I always put a layer mask, the rectangle with the dot. I always put a layer mask and get a black brush. So hit X, that's the shortcut to get black. Um, or hit D first and then X. D makes it black and white and then X reverses the order. Uh, so we want a black. Oh, my cat just jumped out of my lap. Um, and I always just make sure it doesn't get on her, but everywhere else is totally fine. I'm going to go ahead and flatten that. Okay, so now I did, um, I'm just going to get the band-aid here. She has a boo-boo, probably a bug bite. Um, I am going to show you uh, again with the Portrait Pro, because I tried it on the other one that I edited of her, and I was like, oh, I think I'm in love. So we're just going to, I'm going to show you. So I did do what the other person said. I make a control J. A duplicate layer first and then I go filter and portrait pro that way if it you know does anything to the background I can say no thank you so we're gonna do girl because we don't care about cheekbones and weird okay so I automatically um, click off well I guess face sculpt is really just making her lips a little Actually, I kind of like it, so we'll leave it on. Okay, so skin smoothing. I actually like what it's doing. I'm going to leave it. Okay, so the sun was overhead and to the left, as you saw, where we put the, um, that's radial, whatever. So this just kind of shifts everything to make the sun look like, you know, it's coming from that side, which is amazing. And actually, I really kind of love shadows, so I'm going to kind of go like that. Yeah. Okay, I love everything here with the eyes, but I do not love... I don't hardly ever whiten the eyes, because it just is creepy to me. But I like how the brown pops. 
Okay, I love what this is doing, but not to her nose. So I'm just gonna get that down. I'm gonna take it off of her hair. Oh yeah, she needs, she's awfully green. Okay. This boosts the overall. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna leave it. And then I am going to do return from the plugin. I'm just like obsessed. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try lowering it to 70. Like, I friggin' love it. I'm gonna go down to 60 though, just to see what it looks like. That's before, after. I mean, you could do the same thing with dodging and burning, but let's not reinvent the wheel, right? Okay, so I love it. I'm gonna commit. I'm gonna get rid of this one little piece down here. Everything else is fine. Um, I'm just gonna try darkening the edges with my little, you know, 500 feather here. On Tatum here. So Control Shift I, Control J. And multiply. It just kind of went from light and airy to dark and moody <laughs> real quick, but I actually like I'm obsessed with it. So we're going to leave it at 50%. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to commit to that. One more thing I'm going to do, not that it needs it at all, but I'm going to go into liquify. I am going to freeze her face. forward warp tool up here with a nice big fat whoop nice big fat brush bracket keys make it big and little I'm just gonna push out her hair a little bit make it look like the wind is blowing and then define whoops I don't want to do that I don't like how I did that um, let's see what that looks like let's thaw this out I love it. I can't tell if her face looks a little bit blue. I'm not 100% sure. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to make a curves layer. First, we're gonna click on the blue Bring it down a little bit. And the green a little bit. I use the finger to drag it up. Normally what I do is I invert it and paint it on her skin, but I actually kind of like what it's doing to the whole image. I go ahead, flatten it. She had a little piece of dry skin. I was just gonna zap. Oop, I can see a couple little hairs I will grab. Okay, I love that little freckle and that little freckle. Ah, 
I love it. We're done. You're going to see that on Facebook in three minutes.